Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be checking out a video titled Berlin, where you can still see the traces of the Second World War. Uh, I actually wish there was a video on YouTube that actually showed the Berlin Wall. Like I know there's pieces of it that still remain, but I just don't think anybody has a video there because I've searched and I haven't found any. But we're gonna be checking out this video right now. So thank you for watching. If you have any recommendations, click that link in the pinned comment section. You can recommend videos. I'll check them out as soon as possible. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. After the Second World War in 1945, Berlin was left in ruins. And to this day, traces of the war can be seen all over the city in the shape of bullet holes, ruins and scars. Traces of the battles that took place here from April to May of 1945 and the bombings throughout the war can still be seen here. And today we are going to explore Berlin to show you some of those places that still bear the marks of the war to this day. It can be hard to picture the enormous damage air raids inflicted on German cities, many of which were reduced to rubble. That's why Berlin left many battle scars in place as a reminder of the horrors of war. The most famous example is probably the ruin of Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church in Berlin's Charlottenburg district. It was originally built in the late 19th century in honor of German Emperor Wilhelm I. In 1943, an ally air raid destroyed much of the church leaving only the main spire relatively intact. Wait, allied? I ain't missed that. Allied? Oh, I can see it looks a little bit destroyed for real. I can actually see that because that doesn't go up perfectly. It's like... But this looks so cool though. But it's interesting. The color of this building, it, 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 it gives me military. Like, why does it give me military flashbacks? Like, literally that... Uh, you could camouflaged in that, like if you have the right military uniform on, like literally. Seeing the remains of this once glorious church serves as a reminder to Berliners of the terrible war started by Nazi Germany. Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church was not the only building that suffered extensive war damage. The same happened to Sophienkirche Church and the building surrounding it in Berlin's Mitte district. They bear traces of the Battle of Berlin in spring 1945. As we walk around this area, we can see walls pockmarked with hundreds of bullet holes and sharp nail scars. Can you imagine how fierce the fighting must have been? Another example is Berlin's Museum Island, one of the city's most visited areas. If you look closely, you will see that the columns that make up the Colonnade courtyard also show extensive war damage. Adjacent Neues Museum, too, was heavily damaged and partially destroyed in World War II. Many decades later, damaged parts were carefully restored. Sections beyond repair were rebuilt using new materials and a more modern aesthetic. Much like the Museum Island, Berlin had to be extensively renovated. And today, anyone walking around here in Potsdamer Platz realizes that this is a very modern area. We have many high-rise glass buildings here. And this, in a city as old as Berlin, in a region as central as this one, can only mean one thing, that everything here was completely destroyed during the Second World War. Or at least, almost everything. One of the few buildings that partially survived the war is Hotel Esplanade. Although the hotel was largely destroyed in an Allied air raid, its ballroom, breakfast room and a stairwell remain intact. Today, a protective window pane lets visitors marvel at this architectural gem. It's truly amazing to find such a historical treasure practically hidden among all the super modern buildings of Potsdamer Platz. More World War II traces can be found outside the city center. They are easy to overlook, even for someone who has lived here for years, like us. Take the example of the railway bridge at Preleweg in the district of Schönenberg. Look carefully and you can spot deep, waist-high gorges in the concrete walls. They were left when Soviet tanks drove too close to the structure. But you will probably be able to find many more traces of fierce fighting around Berlin's residential neighborhoods if you look closely. And while many are barely noticeable, others are hard to miss. Like the ruins of Anhalterbahnhof train station. This imposing 19th century building was one of Berlin's key transport hubs, 
with train connections to multiple German cities, as well as international destinations like Rome and Constantinople, today's Istanbul. In the 1930s, as the Nazis were rising to power, scores of Jews fled into exile in trains departing from Anhalter Bahnhof station. From 1942, thousands of Jews were deported to Theresienstadt concentration camp from here. Today, Anhalter Bahnhof is an underground station that serves trains running north to south. Now on to a huge World War II bunker, or rather, what remains of it. It was one of several giant flak bunkers that were built in the city. Flak is short for Flugabwehrkanonen, meaning anti-aircraft cannon in English. These enormous structures were manned by Luftwaffe helpers and managed to down dozens of aircraft during the war. These bunkers also served as air raid shelter for Berlin's civilian population during Allied bombing raids. After the war, much of this massive structure was covered in rubble, and today most of it is covered in trees. From here, you can enjoy great views of the city. It makes us think about how Berlin was deeply shaped by the war in many ways, but the city rebuilt itself, and so did the people, learning from the past and remembering it so that it never happens again. And if you enjoyed this journey, if you learned something from this video, leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and thank you so much for coming with us. See you next time. Yeah, I hope it never happens again, but you know what they say, war is inevitable. You know, greed is the main source of war. It's less, less simple, and humans will never not be greedy, so war is inevitable. It's as simple as that. It's just a matter of when and who and how and where as well. You know, but yeah, sucks a lot. Which reminds me, they're actually demolishing their, you know, it's demolishing. Why am I trying to find another word for demolish? They're doing that to a building that, um, you know, here where I live, because remember I told you guys, I live in Finland now, and the, 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 where I live is a war ground for World War II with the Germans and the Russians, that, right? And there was a building that was, you know, standing still, and they, you know, took it down, but it was it survived World War II, and um, this place that I live at got totally destroyed during the war. So yeah, crazy. Either way, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm out of here. Peace.